right, watch fans, got another one. Don't know what this is. And again, sorry for the shaky camera. I have to share this table with my daughter's uh, Legos. So, and the thing's mounted to it, so I don't know. And I don't know what this is. This is, uh, I don't even know if I got this from Watch Gang or if I purchased this separately. Let's see. Oh, it's an Invicta. I don't get too many of those, but look at this. This, this will be my second one. Oh, it's a Pro Diver. It's actually pretty nice. Oh, wow. This is a Pro Diver with uh, Mother of Pearl. 500, I don't know if that's true. All right, well... I'll open this up, you watch this video, and then, uh, and then I'll talk about it. Invicta is affordable craftsmanship. My name is Sandy, Sandy Lee, and I am uh, the chief designer of the Invicta watches. Details is one of the key points of Invicta watches. So yes, this is an Invicta Pro Diver. Now, for those who have seen these before, and I'm just gonna open this while I'm talking, um, one of the things I think that kind of frustrates me, and okay, first, let me just say, I did buy this because of the Mother of Pearl. Now, Invicta does some interesting things, right? This is just a nice watch to wear around town. I'm probably gonna keep this one because I actually really do like the look of it. But um, most of the people who buy these Invictas or have bought these pro divers, um, I would say are sometimes disappointed because they are, they're nice, right? They're nice, but they're usually a lot smaller than they're expecting. So this is a men's standard pro diver that everybody sees. I mean, this is the golden one, which is kind of flashy and a little tacky, but that's why I bought it because I love it. <clears throat> and then here is this pro diver significantly larger now i don't know what the size is i'll me i'll do the, the measurements in a bit but this one's like a 43 um but it's probably a 43 this one's 39 so it's just it's small so when i when i just opened this one up i i, I figured i was going to be getting another one of these and i was like all right well whatever you know but um i'm pretty excited now i didn't spend a lot for this right you know this channel i buy watches that are uh, 500 and less. And I think I've had a couple that were in the $1,000 range and I usually end up selling them back. This one says the MSRP is 595. I mean, you and I both know that that's a bit excessive. 
I would say, based on what I'm feeling here, this is probably a good $150 watch. Now, I paid $63.90. Um, that was from an eBay auction for an individual that was had several for sale. Um, and I'm, I'm definitely happy with it because this is a good looking watch. <clears throat> and so I'll go through some of the features. So I'm getting this saran wrap off of it and there's so much of it. All these Invictus, they're always wrapped like this. I guess because they want them to shine when you get them. But you know, for the money, I think you get a pretty good deal with these Invictus. Um, yeah, so one of the first things I notice about this too, the bracelet is a little thin. It's a little thin, but I will say that it is better than what I'm used to seeing as some of these others. These are not stamped and rolled. You can see they are good solid links and they're drilled. Um, <clears throat> some of the more expensive watches, the ones that aren't meant to be removed, uh, like if you can see here, I'll show you. Um, see the ones with the arrows, obviously you guys know, the ones with the arrows are meant to be removed. These are not. <clears throat> usually they spot weld these in for the newer uh for the nicer watches so this obviously you can see that they have not done that and that's okay because you know it gets expensive to do that that's a lot of effort but um still this is nice um let's see i guess i'll just start going through the uh, stats it is a 3 16 stainless steel um it is what's it's 100 meter water resistant. You know, I, I'll put my little chart up at the top. You guys know the drill. Uh, that's pretty decent. That's the length of a, of a high school football field. Um, you know, if you're diving more than 100 meters, then you are actually really diving. So this is perfect for anybody that's going to go to the beach. Uh, it's going to do normal, <clears throat> normal stuff, play in the rain, take a shower. I mean, work. Oh, you know what is this? Oh, no way. Look at that. It's a screw down crown. I am impressed. This is a screw down crown. Look at that. See, now I know a lot of people get frustrated when you talk about screw, screw down crowns because some nice watches don't have them, but this is nice, right? It also has the guard so it doesn't get caught on things and pull it out. But in addition to that, it's screw down. So you never have to worry. That means that there's probably a gasket in the top, compression gasket, and it probably also has one in the shaft. I'm very impressed. This is a really nice watch for $63.90. Now I put the model number up in the front um, when I, uh, beginning of the video in case you wanted to, to buy this. Um, I don't know what movement's in here, but I'm gonna put a picture of it up here and, and statistics down there at the bottom. My guess is it's probably um, Japanese movement, probably something fairly um, modest. It's, it might even be a, a ladies movement because they tend to do that even though it's bigger. This has a ladies movement in it. They always do it just because it's convenient and it's cheap and quite honestly, tends to save power. I, I don't even really know why you would want to put a bigger movement in it other than it just fills up the space and it's, it's nice. Um, this is stamped steel. I don't know, it's a stainless steel, but I don't know that this is 3 16 but uh, the case, the case is, it was advertised for it. Um, all right, let's uh, let's start getting into some of the measurements. Um, first, I'm going to do the weight, and again, sorry for the shaking camera. I'm going to do this in grams, like I always do. I'm going to say 190 grams, so good good weight to it. I want to put it on to see. I've got my Ingersoll um, Omega Speedmaster <laughs> look-alike. Let's see what this feels like. It's it's sized for. Uh, I have seven half-inch wrists, so you can see it comes with a lot of extra links. But man, I really like this. You know what? This is a keeper. I'm sorry, this is a keeper. I've got a couple other Invictas. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of Invictas. I like them. I, there's some, right? And you guys have seen the picture of the Joker one. That's that's not really my style. You know, no judgment. A lot of people like those. Um, that's not for me. Uh, this is kind of more my style. I like a little bit of flair like that. The Mother of Pearl, fantastic with the uh, the date window. Um, of course, the time's in the way. 
But uh, man, this is nice. All right, let's do measurements like I promised and I can't find my, man, it's horrible not having to workshop. <laughs> I don't know where any of my stuff is. I barely have enough to even make a video. All right, so the case size, wow, this is a decent size case. 48 millimeters, okay. The um, lug is, I'm gonna, it's a 70, I'm gonna say it's about 22. Um, the depth, case depth is 13, uh, I'm gonna say it's 13.5. Uh, the lug to lug, I'm gonna say from about 46 millimeter. Um, and like I said, I have seven and a half inch wrists, but uh, this uh, has got plenty of room for a lot of other people um, for larger wrists than, than mine. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about this? You guys all know Invicta. They're kind of a show off brand. Now, Invicta is old. They've been around for a long time. Um, I actually have an old, I, w when I get my shot built and I start actually taking my watches out, I'll show you guys, but I have an Invicta from the mid fifties. Um, they were just like all the other uh, Swiss brands in the fifties, uh, kind of nice, you know, just just uh, modest uh, luxury. Oh, you know, let me talk about this. All right, I don't know what the clicks, what the total click is, but I will put it down there at the bottom. But it feels pretty distant. There's a little bit of play here. I mean, not that that matters, right? I mean, who's gonna do professional diving with a $63 watch? I mean, most people use digital watches for that anyways, but um, gosh, what else can I say? It's really nice. I mean, I don't know if it shows presence here, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light and then I'm going to see what kind of loom it has, if any at all. And it's nighttime, so I can actually show loom. All right, so not bad. Um, not too spectacular. I, mean, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but um, not bad. So overall, pretty good watch. Uh, I think I got a good deal. There's still some on eBay. They're selling for a little bit higher, $69, but uh, $69.95. But shoot, I mean, you can't go wrong. This is a great watch. Uh, and I'm gonna size it and wear it once I can find my tools to do so. Um, if you like this video, uh, please give it a like. Any discussions, I'm very interested in your thoughts on Invicta. Uh, a lot of people don't like them, but just as you can see here, there are some very decent watches. This is a really good, solid, um, all-purpose, uh, modest dive watch with some flair to it. So thank you very much.